Gentlemen, how do we feel about Canucks fans? They're fine. They're very passionate. A little, a little talk to on this side, but they're very passionate hockey fans. I respect for sure. that. Yeah. They're a little delusional. We'll just keep it at that. Oh, look at you. So you're a Canucks <laughs> fan. I'm a little bit of a Canucks fan. And it you're has an been Oilers really fan. interesting. It's okay. No, but I like the Canucks too. And I'm starting I, to get to I know like them the a little bit better. I know you're a Connor Garland fan. And I was like, he reminds me a little ways of Gretzky. You know, the way he skates low kind of, you know, is a darn Gets down good, in there. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. But everybody's yeah. talking. So anybody who's like, oh, I was dumb, stupid Canucks, stupid Oilers, really the pundits are saying in the, in the news that people should be thrilled with this series because it is actually brilliant. What we're seeing is some incredible hockey right now. And people yeah. should basically not be so testy with each other. Uh, have you noticed yeah. it? Because I have, as an Oilers fan living here, I've thought, mm, it's a little uncomfortable. I love the passion. I'm definitely seeing the passion. You and I have different algorithms, I think, on our social media. Because when we were talking about doing a segment about hockey, you're like, we got to talk about the toxicity. And I'm like, I'm not really seeing as much of that as you are. But I do see that that die hard fan level of I, I don't want to use the word hatred but it gets there it's like the connects with the bruins and the connects with the blackhawks it didn't take long for connects fans to get mad at the oilers in fact connects fans are teaming up with flames fans because the battle of alberta is the i mean we're used to this because everybody wanted to hate calgary yeah. just because you're just down the highway from each other and it was just something we were used to was a good natured ribbing and i don't like the flames but i didn't totally. wish them ill i didn't want somebody to break a leg or whatever yeah. but it does feel to me that connects fans are quite enraged uh, with the players, oh, but David is a big whiner and a cheater and a dirty player. And I'm like, are we watching the same person? Because McDavid is a great player who's pretty passionate, but he's not like, he's not like Corey Perry. Okay, show the video of Corey he's Perry. Best. All right. No, okay, no, that's not the one. When right near the end of the game, there was going to be a fight. Oh, this is maybe it. So Corey Perry gets in and he pulls up yeah. the stick. And I guess it was a cross-checking sort of semi-joke to Besser, here it is here. And people were like, what is he doing? And I remember watching that thinking, what is he doing? I don't get it. But Corey Perry is kind of known for uh, stirring He's the being pot, Corey Perry. should we speak, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, trying to draw a penalty by being a little bit of a, you know, Corey Perry. Uh, um, it's a poop disturber. It's fascinating. A shiitake it's, yeah, disturber. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you did I it. I that uh -huh. one out for a while. Uh, well done, I'm yeah. impressed. That's some good recall right there, Linda Steele. Um, I think that what you're saying, you love to hate the player that you wish you had on your team. Exactly. Right? If Connor McDavid was on the Can Vancouver Canucks, Quinn nobody Hughes. would be calling him a whiner. Quinn Zidorov. Hughes. Is it right? Down like the line, Corey dry side. Every Oilers right. players hated Corey Perry because he was such a me until he got on the Oilers. They were like, oh, actually, I kind of like the guy now. So it's so true. Yeah. What you said is so true. That you kind of I look get at nervous. the other team and wish you yeah. had it. I got goosebumps thinking about the start of the game. I'm nervous at puck drop. I'm on the edge of my seat the whole time. It's end to end. It's fun. I'm rooting for the guys that have no business being on the ice. Arthur Shelovs, who has proven to be magnificent. Calvin and Pickard. And Calvin Pickard. Pickard. I, I, right? I want to say Picard. Yeah. Pickard. <laughs> Calvin Pickard. Way to go, right? buddy. Like, and that's, that's cool. the and thing. Parents... And people say, oh, it's just a blowout and we're just going to wipe out these people. Like, no, it has been a one goal game throughout and we went to overtime. So it, this is yes. cl classic Canadian hockey. This is a it great is. series. And it is a deep shame that one of these teams is going to get bounced it's because be they out. both deserve I... to go to the next round. I will tell you this. I think most Canucks fans have the ABC rule at play here. Anybody but Calgary. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, it's fun. So no matter who you're cheering for, have fun watching the game. But okay, go, still ahead. Go. Do you think you have seen it all when it comes to bad behavior on airplanes? Well, think I again. Haven't. What the hell is wrong with people? Coming up next. Seriously. Okay, viewing party. Calm my, calm my blood pressure viewing party. Aditha in Burnaby. You're on Steel and Vanth. And she's a Canucks fan, Linda in New Westminster. Thanks for sending in a photo. Cindy in Delta loves our show. Tune and in. 
Judy in Vancouver. Thanks so much for sending in the photos, everybody. Somebody's going to win a delicious gift certificate, Jody. Yes, at Joey's. Stay tuned. We're giving it away next.